Now, just a quick word. I've got another video linked to this one on doing some sanding out of my drill press. So I'll put a link to that up in the description. So I'd appreciate you watching that. It's on my other YouTube channel, Learn to Turn with Sam. Here we go. From here, my local club, the Yellowstone Wood Turners in Billings, Montana, we are involved in a fundraiser that happens right around Super Bowl time. It's called Super Bowls. And what you do, you go into a, it's, a, it's in a church, and you go in there and you buy a bowl of soup. And there are hundreds of ceramic bowls, wooden bowls that we make from our club. And you get one of those bowls with your bowl of soup. They don't put soup in there. But anyway, so my project is to finish these bowls. And I will donate those to that uh, Super Bowl project, which is quite a ways off. But I, we need to start doing that as a club and collecting some bowls and I think the challenge is all these are in different states of completion. This one I did a video on, but it's not ready to give away or sell. I gotta do some sanding on that. We'll show, show you some of that. Anyway, um, I'm gonna work a little bit on this bowl that I've already got chucked up into my lathe. So let's get busy. Okay, now I've got a D-Way beading tool. I've got a whole set of those and they are really, really nice. So I'm just uh, finishing up. I'm going over my beads another time here. They're a little bit ragged. I sharpened my beading and parting tool and you can see the shavings I'm getting. That's what you're looking for with this tool. Okay, and those look really nice. I'll do a little bit of sanding on those. This was a little bit more interesting than uh, hollowing the inside of this out. So I'm going to do a little bit more work off camera and then I might just reverse this, show you that. Okay, now I spent some time sanding the inside of this. I'm going to find a, an oil finish and finish the inside of this. It'll be totally done, sanded and finished. Okay, now you can't see a whole lot of what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm flooding the surface with, with an oil. And I'll take a few minutes and really saturate that and finish it. And believe it or not, it's actually coming through. I've got that fairly thin in here, so I've got some places where it's actually coming through on the other side. Anyway, let me finish this uh, inside here, and I'll reverse it and take off the foot. Now I'm going to use a drive block to reverse my, my bowl. And what I have here is just a block of wood with threads in there to match my spindle. And you can buy the, uh, the tap for that. Turn my lathe on and wind that down a little bit. Save my hand. Okay. I 
All right, now let me show you my finished bowl on the inside. Very happy with that. I, I like that finish. I don't know if you can see it very well, but uh, now I need to take off this waste block. All right, now this waste block is really out of balance, as you can see. In fact, I've never used this particular uh, waste block. Turn my speed up a little bit. Okay, now what I did, I just put a couple pencil lines on there. I've got the opening of my bowl marked on these calipers. Okay, I'm going to find a better gap. Okay, never mind. Okay, got the job done, check my, my fit here, okay. There, let me show you what I got here, a little bit of a fussing off camera. And that couldn't be lined up any better. And maybe at the very end I can use that as a, <clears throat> a jam chuck when I get down to this very little nub there on the bottom. All right. Bring up my tail center, however, because I'm going to just hog this wood out rapidly with the bowl gouge. And I wish there was a way I could save that waste block, but I'm not going to worry about it. Right there. So I'm taking a half inch bowl gouge. Okay, what I'm looking for is where my cherry bowl starts down here at the very bottom. Right now I've got my bowl reversed and I'm just kind of cleaning up the bottom. I've got some torn grain right here and I'm going to work my way around the bottom of this with a square end scraper. Getting some good shavings off that, getting a very nice surface. That pretty much took care of the torn grain right here. I'm going to work my way down a little closer to the center with this spear point scraper. Now 
I've got the remnants of my glue block right here and I just need to go down and take that away. Alright, I am to a point where I can do a little bit of sanding on this, apply a finish and I'll be done with this bowl. Okay, you're hearing my grinder slowing down. I've got the tailstock removed and I'm going to hold this on with my hand. I think it's, it's okay, but I'm going to do a little scraping right in the center of that. Okay, there it is. I like it. Really pretty cherry. So let's move on to the next bowl. Okay, I'm going to put a, a jaw set back on here. Now the little bowl I'm going to work on next, I'm not sure where I started this. Probably in a demonstration or maybe a class I was giving. I need to work on <laughs> the the inside of this bowl and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now I think I'm going to save the very center of this. I've got some uh, texturing on that, I've got some gilt cream and I think I'll take a little bit of uh, I'll take a little bit of paint thinner, mineral spirits, just clean up the inside of this and I think it's okay. I think it's uh, acceptable. Take a toothbrush and just kind of clean out the gunk. So I think that'll be fine when I just put a little bit of a finish on top of that. I don't like the rim at all. Okay, so I want to do something with that. All right, now I've taken off quite a bit of this texture. I'm going to remove a little bit more and try to smooth out the rim on this. I've got a negative rake scraper. And I'm going to back this piece of wood up so I don't get a lot of vibration. All right. I've got a piece of leather. <laughs> I just kind of hold it on that. And I also put a a little bit more of a burr on the top of that tool and that'll uh, cut a little bit better. I need to go back to the inside of this at some point. Now I'm going to put a little bit of a texture on the rim right here. I think it looks a little bit uh, uneven having the center of that textured and colored and nothing out here. So I'm going to find a tool. All right, now what I have here is a Robert Sorby texturing tool. And I made my own holder for this. And I also have a handle. That can be a little bit cheaper than, uh, all right, buying the whole thing anyway. I'm going to just go back and forth on this. This is one of my favorite textures. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little bit crazy, but I really like that.
Let me just take a paper towel and kind of rub off some of the, the little fuzzy bits there. Okay, so what I have here, uh, I've got some Chromacraft wood dye markers. And I'm going to use a couple different colors. I'm first going to use an orange. Cover the surface. And I like to take a second color and put on top of that. And I've got a uh, violet. This is a Nick Agar signature marker. Take a look and see how that is. Okay, now I'm going to just take a, a black marker and make a, a border. Alright, I've got this uh, to where I like it. And I'm going to clean this up a little bit in here. And I think I'm going to do a spray lacquer finish. Now I'm going to take my point tool and clean up this area right here. Now I've got the other bowl I just worked on. I sprayed a coat of lacquer on it so it's drying. Here's another one. This is ash. And I'm not sure. I just uh, probably rough turned this. I don't like the uh, center decoration so I'm going to take that out. And uh, I don't know. Maybe I will put another uh, embellishment in there. I'm not sure at this point. i got to clean the inside of this up balance that is that's really pretty pretty well balanced now this is pretty much finished right in here i can't take that down anymore plus it's going to vibrate it's uh, it's fairly thin change my tool rest so i can reach inside there and i think i'm going to just take a scraper well may not okay erase that I'm going to take a little bowl gouge with a traditional grind on it. Kind of clean this up right in here. I'm turning about 800 RPM. All right, now I was getting quite a bit of vibration. This is a, a rather small tool. But I'll go to uh, a couple scraping tools. Clean that up. Now I'm going to go to uh, a bigger negative rake scraper. Clean that up. Okay, now I took off all that inside uh, embellishment there, but there were some some holes in there that I couldn't get rid of. I'm getting kind of thin on the bottom of this, so I decided to go back and do another series of embellishments. And this is something different that I'll show you. I've got a couple lines drawn on there with my pencil. Right there, and right there. And if I need to, I can sand those off later. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a point tool I'm gonna start with, because it's really one of my 
my favorite uh, tools to to embellish with and I'm going to just go around this one pencil circle this is a, a countersink and uh, I'm going to just maybe find a place for this well I was having a hard time holding this little countersink so I'm going to just put this in a drill and that's what it's designed for. Put one right in the center. Alright. Okay, my next device is I found a, a nice Phillips driver. And we'll just see how this works. I, I've also got my, my headstock locked. Makes it a little bit easier. In fact, let's try right here. Oh yeah, I like it. All right, now, obviously this does not have to be some uh, symmetrical pattern or something on there. There's a little parting tool. I need I need something like a, a like a straight line going through there. We'll just try this little parting tool. Okay, now. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little texture with this larger Robert Sorby texturing tool right in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this and then you'll be able to see my pattern a whole lot better. Okay now I took this bowl and I dyed the center in here with some uh, black leather dye. Okay and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take some gilt cream and rub in there. It'll look something like this. Okay so I finished the uh, the rim on this bowl and I need to reverse that. You've already seen that process of how I reverse a bowl. I'll show you something more interesting. Anyway, um, we'll move on with this one right here. Right, I'm going to put a little gilt cream on the, the center of my decoration there. There's my gilt cream.
I appreciate you tuning in and watching this video. All these bowls went to a, a charity event. I donated them last night at our club meeting. Anyway, thank you for watching and don't forget to uh, also click on the link below to that sanding video. It's on my other channel, Learn to Turn with Sam, and I would appreciate you get on there and subscribe, and that really helps me out a lot. So thank you very much, and I'll, I'll talk to you next time.